In this tutorial, we will learn about how to print the square and cube of all the numbers from 1 to 10 using for loop in Verilog HDL. So as we know that for loop is used to execute a set of statement multiple times. So we will be leveraging that advantage of for loop for printing the squares and cube. So let us see how we can do that. Now like all the programs in Verilog HDL, it begins with a keyword module and then you can give some name for your module. I'm giving test and then you need to end the module by using the keyword end module. Then you can declare some integer i. Next thing is all the for loop are written inside a initial block. So you need to start a initial begin statement and every begin has an end. Next you need to call a for loop and I'll be starting the for loop from i equal to 1 that is called the initial condition. Then we need to write the maximum limit we want to go till. I'll be going till 10. And next you need to write down by how much you will be incrementing each time. So I'm incrementing with 1. And every for loop also has its own begin and end. And in between this you can write your dollar display. So I'll be printing first the number. So I'll write number equal to percentage 0D. Next thing I'll print is square is equal to percentage 0D. And the next thing I want to print is the cube of that number. So I'll be writing cube equal to percentage 0D. And I'll come out of this double quotes, put a comma. Now I want to replace this first percentage 0D with I value. And then for calculating the square of number, we know that square is a number multiplied with itself. So I'll write I into I. And next thing we want to replace is the cube of the number. So I'll be writing comma I multiplied with I. I multiplied with I multiplied with I and at the end you need to put a semicolon. So this is our code for printing the square and cube of all the numbers from 1 to 10. So you can take a screenshot of this code if you want to try on your own. So now I'll be hitting on this execute tab to check my output. If you are executing this code in Verilog HDL, you need to hit on run button. So after hitting on run button, this is the output I got. I got all the numbers from 1 to 10. Then it has printed all the squares of the number from for like 1, the square and cube are same. For 2, for example, 2 square is 4 and 2 cube is 8. Similarly, like different numbers like for 9, 9 square is 81 and 9 cube is 729. So it has neatly printed the square and cube. If you want more numbers, you just need to change the value here, the maximum value you want to go till. For example, I want till 15, for example, I just change it to 15. The code entirely remains the same and I just need to again hit on execute. So now it will print all the numbers from 1 to 15. So this is the beauty of for loop that just by writing these small statements, it can run multiple times instead of calculating individually. And that is how we leverage the power of looping statements for executing a task multiple number of times in order to save the code length as well as the time for a developer. So hopefully now you understood how we can use for loop for generating square and cube. So do try them on your own and check the output. Thanks for watching.